Hey guys, in this video I wanted to check out the Cyanogen Mod installer on the Play Store. Now, effectively this is going to allow us to install Cyanogen Mod with an easy installer. You don't have to worry about learning how to use Fastboot or ADB or downloading any of the files separately. This should do it all for us. We're going to try it on the Nexus 4 because that's a supported device. And yeah, let's, let's give this a shot. So if we open it up here, you can see it gives you a little welcome screen telling you what you're going to need. So you are going to need a USB cable and a PC near you running Vista or higher. It's also going to wipe all the data from your device, so back it up if you need it. Press and continue, you need to turn on USB debugging, so again press continue, it'll take you exactly where you need to be. You just need to click USB debugging, press OK and it will take you back to the installer. Next step is to turn the camera storage mode on, so again press continue and change it to camera mode. And that's it, that's all you need to do for here. Now you need to go over to the PC. Okay, so here we go. We'll load up Chrome and head over to this website that it's telling us to go to. HTTP get CM. Download the Cyanogen mod installer for Windows Vista 7 and 8. Keep. It was only about 2 megabytes, so not very big at all. We'll close this out. We'll open it first and then we'll close it out. Here we go, updating installer. Disable your antivirus. We detected you have an antivirus. Okay, so I'll do what you say, Cyan. I'm opening my computer to the world for for an hour. And we'll hit continue here. Detecting your device. Ensure your device is connected to the computer via USB cable. Okay, so let's just plug in the micro USB cable. It's already plugged into my computer, so it should recognize it. And USB debugging, you can see allow USB debugging. So you have to make sure you tap always allow this computer. We'll just get rid of this little pop-up. And you can see on the Nexus device, you can tap that little button in the middle to make sure that it always allows. And then press OK. There we go. Head over back to the computer and you can see we're now downloading the software. So this is it. We'll just have to wait and see how long this takes. The phone says your device has been successfully detected, blah, blah, blah. So just while this is downloading here guys, I thought I'd mention that I did have an unlocked bootloader already and I also had the ADB and Fastboot drivers already installed. I'm pretty sure that this installer would do that all for you if you needed it. So it pretty much is going to do it all for you anyway, but yeah, we'll skip this downloading thing because it's kind of long. Okay, so that probably took about, I don't know, four to five minutes. You can see here, everything is ready. Your device, the Google Nexus 4. You're about to install Cyanogen Mod to your device. As part of this process, your device will be reset to its factory settings. All of your media and other data will be erased. Make sure you have a backup. When you're ready, click install. The phone is not doing much at the moment. We'll just hit install. Installing, do not unplug your device or reboot your computer. And now I guess we wait. So installing the recovery software, you can see that right here. Phone has gone off, automatically gone into fast boot mode, and it's doing its stuff. There's the big Cyanogen man, looks like it's all going well so far. So, so far this has just been really easy, it's been just a few clicks, it's described everything you needed to do. I'm sure if you had a locked bootloader and you didn't have the drivers it would do all that for you as well, I'm pretty certain it would at least. And yeah, you can see it's a few clicks here and it's really easy to install. There's nothing really you need to know about Android and Fastboot. It's just download the installer, click a few buttons, follow a few steps, and it's installing Cyanogen to your device. So this probably will see Cyanogen mod on a lot more devices. Of course, we'll have to wait for the installer to get, uh, you know, more kind of devices supported, but I'm sure that'll come. So over here we've got finishing up just a few more moments. And this little blue bar has got a nice little animation going on. My Nexus 4 is doing some stuff. We've got that little Android man. It's restarting every now and then as well. Shouldn't be much longer. It's actually been quite a quick process from start to finish. It hasn't taken much, much time at all. And there we go. Installation complete. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Cyanogen mod. We'll press exit over here. And... My Nexus 4 is still doing stuff, so let's see what happens. Okay, and it's on, so let's go check this out. Welcome to Cyanogen Mod to get started. Choose your language. United Kingdom. Next. Insert SIM card, yes, we don't have one right now. We'll skip all this now. You can see it's got a nice little uh, introduction here, though. 
location settings, all that stuff. Setup is complete and finish. And there you go, we have a Cyanogen mod. We'll just quickly have a look at the settings here. About phone. Android version 4.3.1, so far anyway. And we have Cyanogen mod, so you can see that. That was really easy to do, so the installer is going to make it a lot easier for like noobs to actually do this without much of a problem here. And that's as easy as it is to use the Cyanogen mod installer. So, yeah. Peace out.